Hey everybody, this is Michael Cordes and this is my week 5 informative speech and for this week I will be doing a speech on painting in Photoshop and for the speech I will pretty much try to go as in-depth as I possibly can in regards to uh, basic painting uh, tips in Photoshop. I originally wanted to do this speech on Walt Disney, unfortunately due to time constraints I could not so I went ahead and just I uh, decided to do a speech on something that I have a good amount of knowledge on. Uh, Photoshop was created in 1987 by Thomas Knoll, a PhD student, PhD student at the time at the University of Michigan. He went out to further develop the program and sell it, and the rest is history. Photoshop is one of the most widely used 2D editing programs uh, in the world. It's very robust, it's very powerful, it's very user-friendly and it's very interchangeable with a lot of programs uh... it's interchangeable or you know interchangeable as far as out uh, exporting uh... media um, as you know in regards to you know using it with premiere pro or adobe flash or adobe after effects or adobe dreamweaver and not only that but you can use it with programs that aren't even made by adobe such as uh... maya uh... autodesk 3ds max you know zbrush mudbox I mean, so it's very user friendly, very robust. I mean, you can use it with a plethora of other programs, and you will find that it's, you know, uh, in almost any professional's uh, arsenal, if you will. Um, where it is today, you know, it's continually evolving, continually expanding. Uh, nowadays, you can actually import 3D objects into Photoshop now. So it's not only a 2D editing software, but you can edit 3D objects now, and you can paint your objects within my uh, Photoshop, which I think is really cool. So, with that being said, uh, I'm just going to touch upon the basics. Well, not only touch upon, but try and get as in depth as I possibly can in regards to the basics of uh, painting within Photoshop. Now, I went ahead and started a new. Uh, file here within Photoshop. Just go up here to File, New. I'm not going to get too in depth in regards to the uh, tab menus you see up here. Um, I mean, Photoshop is a pretty deep program. I'm just going to go ahead and just really try to delve into the painting aspects of it. And by painting, I mean brush painting. Uh, for this particular project, I'm using a stylus Wacom uh, tablet. Um, you know, I don't have the screen one where you draw particularly on the screen. Those are known, called as, known as the Syntec. I wish I had a Syntec. Those things are amazing. Uh, but I just have like your basic uh, Wacom tablet stylus setup. So, um, I'm just going to go ahead and the bit, one of the basic tools of uh, painting is, um, you know, uh, brush painting, that is, is using your brush. Uh, before I start that though, I just want to go ahead and touch upon the different types of painting you can do within Photoshop. Uh, there's this type of painting, you know, just regular brush painting. Uh, there's matte painting, which matte painting is you take images that already exist and you manipulate them to how you want it to look. Say, so for instance, you take like a thousand different photos, you can take, you know, parts of each photo, mix and match them, manipulate them, warp them change you know change them to basically how you want them to be and put it together into one cohesive beautiful eerie whatever painting what have you so yeah there's that type of painting um, you know and then there's other aspects of Photoshop such as photo manipulation hence the name Photoshop so yeah uh, like I said very powerful program very awesome program but for the sake of this uh, informative speech, I'm just going to be talking mainly about uh, photo uh, brush painting. Uh, so before I start, I'm just going to go ahead and just touch uh, talk about this image here. If you go here to image uh, size, you can go ahead and look at the uh, specs of your image. This one is 3300 by 5100, um, 11 by 17 inches at 300. Uh, pixels per inch. Uh, that's the resolution. The higher the resolution is on your image, the more detail you are able to, you're going to be able to give it. So uh, that's 300 d uh, uh, DPI or PPI pixels per inch. And so I went ahead and I chose a brush here. Now uh, there's the brush tool, which is the main one that I use. 
uh, you can hit B to shortcut it. If you look here up on this menu, uh, you got um, you can choose different uh, brush settings. You can also go on the internet and find brushes, or you can make your own brushes. Another cool thing of uh, Photoshop, you can make your own brushes. I mean, I love that. So I went ahead and I chose Airbrush Soft Round 50%, and to the right of it, you're gonna see like these menus pop up. And if you choose this one, click this little arrow, and then you're gonna see all these preset brushes that come with my these default. You can choose, you know, maple leaf. Uh, you can choose like these spongy type ones. Uh, you can choose these hard brushes. Um, yeah, so really, you know, it comes with a good amount, a good selection of brushes. So, <clears throat> I'm just going to go ahead and choose this hard brush here. If you look up here, you can change the size. You can make it 2500. I mean, really huge brush right there. Um, you know, I'm going to go ahead and choose the color black. And then if you notice, I can go ahead and begin to color this uh, page in. Or I can go ahead and just shrink it. And uh, yeah, and yeah, there you go. So you're gonna get like a smaller brush. Um, you can also change the hardness of it. Uh, the hardness is um, basically, I'll go ahead and put it down to 34%. I'll change the size up. And as you notice, uh, the edges, if I zoom in on here, the edges of the brush are gonna be softer. So it's not gonna be as hard. So you're gonna really get a nice feathery look to your brush so so yeah and okay so and if you look here on the right hand side the history um, you know uh, basically you can undo what you did by hitting control Z um, but for the sake of this I'm just gonna go ahead and choose the other main tool when I paint uh, which is your eraser tool your eraser pretty much works the exact same way as your brush you can choose the type of brush you use, um, you know, no presets currently defined for this tool. Um, and then you can choose the opacity, the flow, uh, basically how powerful it is. Uh, if you take your opacity way down, if you take your flow way down, you know, you're going to have a really weak eraser. As you can see here, it's just barely, um, you know, barely uh, taking anything away. And this is great for when you want to create transition between uh, colors and hues, uh, gradi gradation, etc. So you can really add a lot of good subtle value by using uh, this particular, by using the eraser. But if you just want to just, you know, erase, boom, you can erase. Um, and it's right now, it's really soft. So I'm going to make it a hard. And there you go. You know, you got really, uh, a really dramatic uh, erasing edge there. So basically those are the two main tools uh, when uh, painting, when doing digital painting. Um, your brush and your erase tool. And um, okay so and then the other main thing that you use when you do painting is here. Uh, if you look at the square, if you click on this black square that's your main color that you have. If you click on that you're gonna get the color picker. And from here, you can go ahead and begin to, um, you know, choose what color it is that you want to use. And say you wanted to go with like a, a dark orange. There you go. And you wanted it to be darker. So if you look on here, um, you got all these different menus that really, you know, pop up different uh, ways to choose your color. So it, you know, it's really all about experimenting with the, this menu here. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and keep it as it, as it is and uh, I have it set on an eraser. I'm going to uh, click it back to brush and yeah there you go. So that's pretty much the basics of uh, painting within Photoshop. Um, you know and I'm just going to end it with showing an example of what you can do in Photoshop. Here's something that I painted in Photoshop. I yeah, I drew it uh, in pencil and then I scanned it on uh, scanned it into my computer, and yeah, um, it shows you what you can do with Photoshop. Uh, painting is really a great way to express yourself, and if you have a slight interest in it, I highly encourage that you do it. 
So thanks for watching. Bye.